what's up guys um the other day i was browsing hug it and i saw this post about how you can lower your pixel density down to 0 0.5 and in steam vr you can set the custom resolution multiplier to 500 and no oh, magic fucking frames <laughs> and i thought cool so i went and did it and uh it worked i was like holy shit this is amazing um and then I started thinking about it. I was like, all right, how does this work? Why does this work? Is, is the resolution that we're applying um, in DCS smaller and then it gets super sampled and then it gets down sampled? Like how, how is it possible that we can set some settings that they're equivalent to some other settings and one acts better than the other? And I started... Um, and I was drinking the juice right away, man. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I wanted to believe it, but I started investigating and, um, I found out that it's, it's not true. Um, and this is kind of my public service announcement. Damn it. <laughs> uh, video. And I'm not trying to knock on, uh, Lucas, the, the guy that put this information out. Um, it, I'm, I'm kind of thinking this as like, a, you know, a scientific peer review. Somebody put some data out, somebody else sits down and goes, let's validate it and make sure. I got started down this path because I wanted to just understand how it worked. And then I found out uh, the stats used in uh, Lucas's video were just, they're not right. And let me show you how I got there. Let me show you the calculations. I don't think that this technique is complete throwaway. And I'll explain why after we get into it a bit here but on the left here he's showing that uh the pixel density is 0 0.5 and in steam vr uh it's 500 percent now there's two places to edit things in steam vr there is a global resolution per eye it applies to all games um that is not the value he is talking about he's talking about the per app resolution um, and, and later on in the video, he goes to show that, uh, here it is here. Uh, this is the one he's talking about. So you go to the video tab and then you, with DCS open, you would click, uh, what is it called per application video settings. And then you would slide that up to 500%. But in DC, in Steam VR, uh, there's actually a video tab. There's this one here. This is, this is applied to every game. So every game is going to render at 140% the native resolution of your headset. So if your headset is 100 by 100, it's going to render at, uh, it's not exactly 140 by 140, and I'll get into that in a minute, but it's 140% of the area of the headset. So um, he didn't put that on there in this slide. But this is a very important thing for you to understand that um, might make your benchmark or frames a little bit different than what he was getting. Um, I wish it was put in here. It's not, but it's 140% in other areas of the video. So I'm going to use that as the standard. The right side here, he explains that it's the equivalent, after doing some math, of a pixel density in DCS of 1.4. Okay, and then you would set the custom resolution slider for the per application settings page down to 100%. So basically we negate it completely. But the global resolution is still 140%. So you're taking the native resolution, you're multiplying by 140% of the area, you're getting whatever that width and height is, and then you're applying a 1.4%, 140% uh, multiplier against that resolution because that's what the pixel density is. Unfortunately, what I've discovered is the 1.4 is just wrong. And let me show you how I got there. Uh, I built this calculator. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a nerd. I'm a geek. Uh, programming is my job. Uh, so I dove pretty deep into this, but what this is, is, uh, it takes into account all of the variables in VR. And I was able to validate all of these variables by capturing a single frame within DCS and looking at all the data in the frame. Um, and I'll show you how I did that in a second, but here's what it is. So, uh, he was using an index. Uh, he Lucas was using an index. 
I also use an index, so that's awesome because I can validate everything as well. Uh, the index has a native rev resolution width of 1440p, 1440. Uh, the height is 1600. That gives us an aspect ratio of 0 0.9. Now, in SteamVR, there is an automatic multiplier of 1.4 that applies to the width and the height um, to account for lens distortion. So they actually zoom the image up to account for the distortion that can happen around the edges. Um, and you can see that in the settings here. If I slide this down to 100%, it's 2016 by 2240. Well, that's not my native resolution. Okay. And if I keep going down at some point, I can get to my native resolution, but it's pretty far down here. Is it 50%? No. It's hard to actually get the exact number. It's around 50%. Um, but at 100%, this, this is because of a 1.4 multiplier to the native resolution. Uh, and if we add that calculation in here, uh, let me zoom this in a little bit more. Uh, so this is G10, which is 1440 times 1 1.4. We get 216 by 2240. And if we switch back over here at 100%, we get 216 by 2240. Uh, I'm going to stick this back up to 140% here so I don't forget later. That's where I need it to be. Uh, and that gives us a resolution area, so width times height, of uh, 4.5 million pixels. That then gets multiplied by 140% to give us a resolution with the resolution per eye multiplier. Again, that is this percentage right here. That gives us... 2385 by 2650, uh, 2650. Okay. And we can validate that again here. We slide it up to 140% and 2384. I have 85. There's a rounding error there. Uh, by 2648. And again, 2650 is, is another rounding error. It's fine. The point is we're going to have basically the same numbers within a couple digits. Um, and then what happens is you have the SteamVR custom uh, multiplier, uh, resolution multiplier, which is the per application one. And that is 500%, which gives us a width of 533, uh, 5,333 pixels and a height of 5,926 pixels. And then you multiply it by the pixel density in DCS, okay? And that is 0 0.5. Okay, we're going to take the uh, left scenario here, okay? And that gives us a final resolution of 2667 by 2963. And that's bigger than our native resolution, so it gets scaled down, and that's effectively like increasing your pixel density. You get uh, a resampling effect that kind of gets rid of some of the uh, aliasing that occurs. And then down here at the bottom, this is the calculation that I think was wrong on Lucas's video. This is effectively the same as having a 1.12, if you were to round, uh, pixel density. Okay, so you're only increasing by 12%. Now, in his video, his calculation was uh, 1.4. That's where I believe he was wrong. So he was actually rendering higher resolution-wise on the right frame than he was on the left and that would that would give you the disconnect in that he was getting a performance loss one way or the other okay now we're going to go ahead and try this i'm going to show you how uh, everything's exactly the same all right so there's an application called render doc and this is it here let me go ahead and close my last session and dcs is currently closed i've already set the uh, per application to 500, we're going to replicate the left screen here. So we're going to go ahead and replicate this side right now. So to match Lucas's settings, we're going to be at 140%, which is what he was at. And I have to launch DCS in order to get to the other uh, window here. So we'll kill this capture, go ahead and launch DCS. I have already set my pixel density to 0 0.5 in the settings manually. We'll double check it in DCS in a second here. Go ahead and uh, see in a second when it boots up. Okay, so we're booted up here. Uh, this information at the top, 
is uh, just for render doc. And we're going to go ahead and go in here. And I know this is probably a little hard to see for you guys, but we're down at 0 0.5. The slider's all the way to the bottom. Uh, that's pixel density. And then if I come over here and we go to per application, we are already at 500% for DCS. Okay. So I'll go ahead and you know, put that in the background there. So now here's what I did to verify that my calculations were correct for the frame size. We'll go ahead and hit print screen. Render doc is going to go ahead and capture a single frame. And if we come back in here, here's the frame right here. We load it up. Um, on the top here is the timeline for everything that happened in that frame. Uh, and if we go to the texture viewer, you can see the final frame is the left eye and exactly what we saw uh, over here in DCS. And if I just kind of scrub through here, you can kind of see what it's doing. It's building the menu. Here's the menu, and then it starts building the left eye, and this is deferred rendering. So uh, what you'll actually have is all of the five or six render targets over here that get used to combine together to make the final image. Some of them have information about depth, so uh, how far away an object is from your from 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 the camera. Um, some of them have information about the color, uh, the textures themselves, the normal maps, which is the direction uh, a pixel is facing from the camera. Uh, or in 3D space, rather. Uh, anyway, and you can see here, it kind of goes through the pass. There's the left eye rendered. It goes through and combines all the data, and we end up with the left eye, and then uh, applies the menu in 3D space, and then we do the right eye, okay? All the way across, combines all the information, and now we have the right eye, okay? And that gets sent over to the compositor, and VR gets rendered, and the magic happens. If we go to this specific location here, um, I've already scrubbed all this to find all the locations. We go to pipeline state. We have this composed map. Now, this is the size of the texture that is getting sent to the compositor after all the calculations are done. And you can see here it's 2666 by 2962. And if we look at our calculations over here, uh, again, with rounding error, 2667 by 2963, uh, close enough. We're one off by one, but that's okay. Now, let's go ahead and start this over, but we're going to use the uh, settings from the right side, which was a pixel density of 1.4. So I'm just going to go ahead and manually type that in here. Uh, 1.4, save it. And we need to set our custom resolution per eye back down to 100. And our global, we won't change because that is uh, where it needs to be. So go ahead and minimize it and go ahead and quit DCS. Close this session here. Launch the application again. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so DCS is now running. Um, we're going to go ahead and just double check on the BR tab, we are at 1.4. We're good there. <clears throat> we'll double check Steam real fast. Resolution per eye is 140%, and that is back down to 100. So everything is where it should be. So we'll go here, go ahead and hit print screen. That's going to go ahead and capture our frame. Come back to render doc. And now we're just going to go to the timeline that I was at before. Uh, and we'll go ahead and go to the pipeline state, pixel shader, and we can see here that the calculation is not the same. Now we're rendering to uh, 3,337 by 3707, which is much, much, much larger. Um, effectively, let's look at the pixel density here. So this is what we wanted it to be, right? Let's just do the quick calculation here. Let's see how much bigger that is. So 3337. So 3337 divided by this one. So that's 25% bigger. And if we look at his stats, it's like a 20% increase in frames. Now, um, in game programming, nothing's exactly linear. It's not 25% increase in resolution gives you 25% decrease in frames. So, um, but, but it is significant and it is fairly close. So that just kind of proves that this was wrong. 
And what it should have actually been is a 1.12 pixel density. So uh, if we go into my options again here, I think I have two of these open. No, no, that was the right one. Shoot. Okay. Uh, and we just do 1.12 and we save it and we go ahead and exit DCS. We're not going to change anything else. We'll go ahead and kill our session here and launch it again. See in a second. Okay. So it's loaded. We're going to go ahead and just look at our VR tab here. It says 1.1. We're at 1.12. Obviously the slider only does it by tenths, so we won't see it. But we're going to go ahead and hit print screen, captured our frame, come back over here. We'll open it up and we will check that resolution and now we're at two uh two six seven zero and two nine six five and two six seven zero we're, we're a little off again by rounding i didn't add i didn't add the uh the full number here you can actually get it very exact if you were to type this number into uh the options lua um, so it's going to be a little bit off, but you can see that that is actually the fair comparison when you're going to use the pixel density here. Um, and in my own testing, uh, it matches exactly. My frames are the same one way or another. So, uh, unfortunately this video, it was wrong. I wished I wanted it to be true. I wanted there to be some magic underlying thing that was going on. Uh, there wasn't. So that's unfortunate. Now, that said, I still think the value is that in DCS, you can only go from tenths of a position, okay? Um, tenths of a position is fairly large when you're dealing with this many pixels, especially as the resolution gets higher and higher. It's the, the multiplication um, for a tenth of a position is a lot higher. So. What I suggest you do is slide this back down to one. Okay. Kill DCS. Then figure out, excuse me, DCS decided to start back up again. Figure out your per application setting and use that only. I don't think you need to slide the DCS slider back and forth. You don't need to change the pixel density. Leave it at one and then lower below 100% if you want more frames because 100% doesn't give you good frames. Don't change DCS. Um, so if we were to come in here and go per application settings, this is where you should lower it, okay? And you should lower it all the way down or all the way up based on what you feel um, you need. This calculator can help you with that and I will include a link below to this calculator. Um, just copy it into your Google Drive and use it. Um, you know, you can figure out here the, the idea with the, the idea with VR is you want to get above this resolution. Okay. Um, with, with steam VR, you want to get above this resolution because you need that 1.4 multiplier for the lens distortion. So as long as you're above 2016 and 2240 on an index, then you're fine. So what I would suggest is throw your global um resolution per eye down to 100 so go into steam vr and slide this to 100. if you want to leave it at 140 go ahead if you want to leave it at 150 go ahead i'm just telling you what i do i want all my games to render at the native resolution and then i want to adjust them from here because it gives me more control um i don't have this overhanging 40 percent increase in resolution um, so that this is what I do and then, and then adjust this one. So, uh, we'll put this back at one and now we're at 4508. That's pretty bad. Um, so start at hundred and say, maybe I'm going to go up to 150 and that gives us 24. That's, that's probably pretty good for the index, uh, on modern hardware. You know, if you have a 1080, maybe 120, 130, but this gives you a better range as far as adjustments because I think you can control this one by positions of two if I'm not mistaken yeah if you slide it a little bit it goes by by two um and this multiplier isn't like pixel density so like an example is 
if you have a hundred by a hundred, okay, pixel density, let's just say this is width, this is height, and this is PD. Okay, pixel density of 1.0, and this is uh, 100 times one, right? And this one would be uh, 100 times one, okay? And this is the uh, final resolution, final width, right? Final height. Now, if we go to 1.2, 120. We go to 1.3, 130. Now, same thing here. Uh, let's move this over a little bit. <clears throat> we'll do a W again. I, this is going to be um, uh, SteamVR percent. We'll just say RPE, resolution per I. I'm going to move this down one, and I'll show you why in a second. Let's say this is 100%, okay? I'm not going to account for the lens distortion. This value here is going to be this, be width times height, because we need the area. So there's the area. And this is going to be 100%. Okay? And now we're going to do final height and final width. The height is equal to the square root of the area divided by aspect ratio. I don't have aspect ratio yet. Let's move all these down. Aspect ratio is pretty simple. You just do uh, width divided by height. Sorry, looking at my keyboard. Uh, so aspect ratio is one. And this one's an error because we need to fill in this value here. Okay, so now our final height is 100. And width is super easy. It just becomes final height times aspect ratio. So now let's take a look. If 1.2 here is 120 by 120, what is 120% here? That didn't work. I'm missing something. Oh, we're missing the multiplier. Sorry. Times this. There we go. Go ahead and throw a round in there real fast. Okay. So you can see 120% is not the same as pixel density 120%. Um, you would have to probably get up to like 140 before that became true, even higher, 145. So this gives you a lot more granularity on that slider because 2% is not the same as pixel density 2%. Um, that's kind of all I was trying to point out. All right. Hopefully this helped you guys understand um, why some of you probably aren't seeing the same results and some of you are seeing results like Lucas. Um, I think it's important when we find these kinds of things to sit down and figure out why they work, because if it feels like magic, it's probably not magic. <laughs> um, there's always an explanation. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope this enlightened some of you. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions. If you found an error in my calculations, I am 100% receptive to it. Um, as far as I can tell, I got everything right. Uh, if I got something wrong, I am more than happy to uh, take a look at what you think I got wrong um, and revise this spreadsheet or this video or take it down if it's 100% wrong. But so far, I, I can't find how it is. Um, so yeah, hit the like button, hit the dislike button. I don't give a shit. Tell me uh, I'm wrong. I don't care. Tell me I'm right. Uh, let me know what you guys see. If you guys see uh, something different, um, in your own testing, uh, leave me the settings you have. Tell me, tell me, uh, maybe that's the best way to go. Uh, you know, what VR settings are you using? I'm just now getting back into VR a bit more. Um, now that I have a new card that can handle it and, uh, I'm trying to find all the tweaks and stuff and I'm hoping to make a video about it soon. 
um, for like DCS performance in general, but including BR. Uh, I started a script on that. I was hoping to include this thing, but it fell through. So um, yeah, thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. We'll catch you guys next time.